garam dan kelapa. Jadi tes mudah. Tengok ini macam mana tu? सवाल वही होते हैं लेकिन उसको कितने अलग अलग ढंग से हम बता पाए वही कोशिश के दस साल हो गए चौदह साल अभी इस इंडस्ट्री में इतना तो अभी सीख गए हैं लेकिन इट्स ओके इट्स पार्ट एंड पार्सल सो वी एंजॉय एवरी बिट ऑफ इट अलग ही थोड़ी थोड़ी से बात है फिर ना डू डू फाइंड इट टाइरिंग यू नो you have one? I do have a brain in there. In, in this small, tiny little head area, there's a brain. And it's going to be... be, 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 be yeah, it's about to like... It's, 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 it's on time with like yeah. 10, 9, nine eight. 8. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay, Banjo Party, if we talk about the song, कम वक्त में उसको बनाया गया और उसको पोस्ट भी कर एडिट भी कर दिया गया और वॉल्यूम भी कर क्या कहना चाहेंगे इतना फास्ट सब कुछ मुझे लगता है कि कुछ चीजें होती हैं ये तो प्लान नहीं था पिक्चर रिलीज हो रही है सारे गाने आ चुके एंड में कुछ गाना बना एक हफ्ते पहले हमें सुनाए सुनाई दिया हमने सुना वो हमको लगा कि इतना अच्छा गाना है इसको क्या करें तो कृषिका ने कहा कि नहीं इसको बनाते हैं म्यूजिक कर बनाते हैं तो एक दिन प्रमोशन और कट करके आठ घंटे में इसे शूट किया दूसरे दिन एडिट करके तीसरे दिन हम लोगों ने इसे रिलीज कर दिया आज एक ही दिन में मोर देन मिलियन व्यूज इसे आ चुके हैं तो इट जस्ट शोज द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द मीडिया डिजिटल मीडिया एंड द रीच एंड जस्ट फील्स ग्रेट ओके उसके अलावा हर हर फिल्म की कमर्शियल सक्सेस सबके लिए बहुत ही बढ़ रही है यकीन आपके लिए बहुत ही बढ़ रही है लेकिन जब हम परफॉर्मेंस की बात करते हैं तो रितेश आपके लिए कितना इंपॉर्टेंट है बेंजो में खास करके क्रिटिकली फिल्म की तारीफ होना खास करके आपके परफॉर्मेंस की या बाकी सह कला का नहीं मैं क्या कहता हूँ कि फिल्म पसंद आनी चाहिए अगर फिल्म पसंद आए तो परफॉर्मेंस अच्छे लगेंगे लोग अगर फिल्म पसंद नहीं आए कितने भी अच्छे परफॉर्म कर लो उसका उतना इम्पैक्ट नहीं होता एंड आई ऑलवेज फील दैट फिल्म फर्स्ट देन परफॉर्मेंसेस would like to say that he really worked hard uh, specifically trying to understand where he comes from, how he'll dress, how he'll walk, how long his hair will be, what kind of stubble will he have, um, getting all those mannerisms <coughs> correct 
and then uh, he has a certain attitude and hence he plays the instrument that way. He doesn't play the instrument like a regular banjo player sitting on a stool and putting the instrument on his lap, but uh, he plays it like a guitar uh, and um, that's what's amazing about him, I think. The best compliment you got for the for the promo and, the, and then whatever happened in terms of the teaser or, you know, no, I, I think um, there, there is a particular perception I feel that, uh, oh, that if I come in a movie, not trying to take my name um, in, a, in a third person, but uh, okay, you know, Ritesh Deshmukh films look like this or feel like this. Uh, but now they say, oh, it looks different, you're different, and um, the film is giving a different vibe, and they would like to go and see it. So that, that's exciting. The film is, you know, about to release. Are you nervous or excited, Ritesh? You know, the, the, the way it is appreciated. I, no, no, I, I just. No, I, I'm eager to know uh, what people think about the film and how it does. Um, but um, Friday is the most important day. The only day to celebrate success or mourn a failure of a film. Saturday is a new day. Start working. That's my policy. So, uh, I just hope people like the film. Uh, Ritesh, how do you think like every Mumbaika will connect to this movie? I. See, it's it's not about uh, a Mumbaikar uh, trying to connect. I think uh, it's a film uh, that relates to every underdog that's trying to achieve uh, something. And every person, if you get a platform, what can he do? Whether he's singing or singing, like our TV shows have become a very big platform today, where people come from small cities, small cities, small cities, singers come, they become stars, they become stars. In the Dharmesh, which is a film, वो भी उनका एक ठेला था मिसल पाव का और वहाँ से आकर एक टीवी शो में आया स्टेज पर उन्होंने परफॉर्म किया आज दो फिल्म में तीसरी फिल्म ये है और एक पॉपुलर डांस प्लस टीवी शो में वो जज भी है तो ये जो रीच है ये जो कहानी है ये ये बैंजो की कहानी है सो बैंजो सिर्फ बैंजो तक मर्यादित नहीं है वो बहुत ज़्यादा है इट्स अबाउट एनी फील्ड इफ यू गेट अ स्टेज टू परफॉर्म एंड शो केस योर टैलेंट द वर्ल्ड विल Take a look at him. You belong from this elite class, okay? And you're portraying a character which is. I very belong to an elite class. Yeah. Say so. That's See, that's something the media portrays you as. But then you just the media. Is but I just want to know. But your question primarily is wrong. Okay, let's say you belong from a class uh, which has uh, which can easily access things, or you are the okay, let, let privileged class. Okay, let's okay, see. No, that's what you think. Okay, let me just tell you. Um, what you're trying to say is because of my family that I have um, certain privileges in life. That's what you're trying to say. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm okay. trying to say. What I'm, my answer to this is, um, I was born in Lathur. Okay. I didn't that. complete my question. Actually. Okay, sorry. I want to tell you that uh, so how it, so the character that you're playing is more connected to the street. I know you were born in Lathur. I have studied about it. I'm saying you, the character you're playing is more about a person who moves around in the street, is more uh, like connected to the common people and Mumbai, uh, like, you know, totally on the street. So how difficult was it for you to okay. portray this so, character? Um, let me tell you, I understood your question when you started off. Um, let me explain to you simply, I was born in Latur. Uh, my upbringing is middle class, okay? I have had friends who played banjo. Um, I have had a banjo in my house when I used to practice as a child. So the instrument was not new, the people were not new. I am the one who has, uh, I go to my village and you know, milk a cow. I have taken cow dung and plastered on the wall. I have put cow dung on the flooring. So I have done all this. So I don't think this is about privileged class. I just feel that my upbringing has been um, in a middle class family. So my relatability to people of various uh, classes has been easy. Someone who's Probably uh, extremely affluent have been my friends. Someone probably um, uh, whose father is a worker has been my friend. So the connectivity was not an issue. Yes, probably I haven't lived that life for sure. Um, so it wasn't difficult identifying with uh, someone like Tara um, because I've seen that person. But uh, yes, living it and being one uh, needed some work and uh, we worked on it. I think it was a big director who worked with me before I worked with him as a producer. Balak Balak we made it. And today, you know, we are making Banjo. So it's just great because Ravi is a very talented director and a very talented director. 
पाछे पिछड़े बना चुके हैं मैं हमेशा कहता हूँ कि इस इंडस्ट्री में सबसे एक्सपीरियंस डेब्यूटांट हुई है Um, if I have to elaborate, words, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> few more words would help. I I think for me, it was a great experience <laughs> in many different areas because I don't leave my house much, so I don't get to explore Mumbai, and I've been here for five years. So I think Banjo helped me to see more of Mumbai that I was missing out on. Uh, we shot in various locations that I would have never went to uh, visit, and I met so many people. That I would have never visited, so it, it's a lovely experience in that way. And then, of course, working with this one, he's pretty amazing, really great actor, down to earth, and a, a kind person. And the director, Ravi, is just awesome. So. Yeah. Okay, but just you know, when there is a film, it is kept in a screening. We go to the coverage for it. Yes. Do you want to show a special person a special person? Banjo or Unki Rai Lina Chayenge, though you already work with Bachchan, you work with all the stars in the industry. Anyone you want, you want, you would like to, you know, do a screening for? My mother, I want her to watch it. Um, because um, I am in this industry thanks to her. When I was offered a film in the first time, I thought I was going to go to the house. So, my father was the Maharashtra Ke Mukhe Mantri. And at that time, my mom was the one. She told me, if you want to, फिल्म करने तो कर लो चले ना चले वो बाद में देख लेंगे लेकिन टू इट सो आई वाज ग्लैड एंड यस एक अलग फिल्म है अलग रोल है कुछ अलग किया है तो जब भी मैं कुछ अलग करता हूँ तो सबसे पहले अपने आई को दिखाना चाहता हूँ ओके उनका क्या रिएक्शन है टीजर टीजर को देखे या प्रोमो को देखे नो शी लव्स नहीं कुछ कुछ तो प्रतिक्रिया देती होंगी वो कि भाई आप ये इसमें बहुत रियल लग रहा है या रियल स्पेस में लग रहा है कुछ तो उनकी प्रतिक्रिया होगी नहीं आई थिंक शी एन्जॉयज इट सो शी बी लुकिंग फॉर दिस वन आई एम नार्टिस व्हाई डोंट यू टॉक अ बिट अबाउट द कैरेक्टर बिकॉज़ यू नो वी हैव हर्ड विद टेस्ट लाइक टॉकिंग अबाउट हिज कैरेक्टर बट माइन ओके आई टॉक अबाउट माय कैरेक्टर क्रिस्टिना एके क्रिस शी इज अ इंडियन गर्ल हु इज बोर्न एंड रेज्ड इन न्यूयॉर्क एंड शी is passionate about music. She's a music student and a DJ, and she gets this music piece from a friend of hers that she's totally obsessed about. And because she's so passionate and ambitious and wants to create something of her own, she ends up in Mumbai. And so it was great fun playing this role because there was a lot of memories of when I first came to Mumbai, of all the experiences that I experienced. So I kind of laughed a lot while we were shooting, just reminiscing all my troubles when I first came here all alone. Um, and then we see Christina and her journey finding these amazing banjo players and how they end up working together and how it becomes, or she becomes sort of an inspiration for them and she motivates them because she truly believes that they're very talented people and that they deserve a platform to be seen. Okay, Krishika, whose idea was this, you know, making a song, Banjo Party, or that too in a very short span of time?